Recently, Xbox or Microsoft has given us remastered gamer picks, three of which are remasters, the rest are just brand new, and before I make an officially new video, I wanted to hold you guys off with this video because I want to pay tribute to these classic gamer picks because, to be quite honest with you, they're nostalgic. Now, if you're a new Xbox gamer, you probably don't really feel the nostalgia with these Xbox 360 gamer picks, but me, being a World at War veteran and clicking on someone's name in the scoreboard and just seeing one of those gamer picks, it is so nostalgic. I made so many friends that had these gamer picks and I, I just had to make a video about this. I mean, these gamer picks are nostalgic to me and they mean a lot to me. And a lot of new gamers probably don't really understand this or see the big deal because you probably grew up with the Xbox One and I saw the Xbox One gamer picks and I, I mean, look at this shit. What is this? Xbox One gamer picks are nothing. They're just, they're dumb, in my opinion. But first things first, I want to go over the three official ones that Microsoft or Xbox have released. First things first, you have the Bubblegum guy. I never really knew the name of him, but uh, this is really nostalgic. Look at the one, look at the one on the left. A lot of people had it. If you met someone on Halo with that gamer pick, they were not to be trusted. So, if Halo veterans, I, I guess you would know what I mean. The one on the right is pretty cool, it just looks too cartoonish, I don't know. The bubblegum bubble isn't even white or bluish, whatever, I don't know, it, it's just, it's pink and, I don't know, it just doesn't look cool at, or nostalgic, I mean, it looks like he's wearing a raccoon on top of his head, I, I don't know, and it doesn't look as nice, but that's just my opinion. And next up is the panda. Anyone remember that one? That one, in my opinion, is probably my most favorite one. I don't know. It just really nostalgic looking at it. The one on the left looks like some Korean artist made it in their own style. It looks a little anime-ish, I, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't look as nice. The one on the left is everything to me. This one on the right, it just looks too... I don't know. It looks too cartoonish. and It's hard to explain. And this one, which I, I love this one a lot. And not the new one, I like the old one better. The older one, just like, a lot of people on Call of Duty 4 had it. I mean, if you ever played Call of Duty 4 in its prime days, and you would click on someone's profile, you would see that gamer pick. I was never old enough to play with Call of Duty 4, but I had my ways because uh, it kept me busy, so yeah. And of course, there's the pirate guy which looks similar I guess. This one is not officially recreated by Xbox, it was made by someone else. But uh, it looks nicer. I mean this is how, I, I feel like if they wanted to remaster these gamer picks, it should have been that way. Like better quality, just everything. I, th I feel like that would have been better. And in case you guys didn't know, Only Use Me Blade used this profile picture. If you guys don't know who Only Use Me Blade was, he was this knife only machinima guy. Um, one of the biggest snipers on YouTube at a time, uh, his channel doesn't exist anymore, but he's one of the original Machinima creators, and honestly, I miss him a lot. I miss those old days, and he had this profile picture, I remember looking at it, and I was fanboying and stuff, and I was like, wow, it's such an honor looking at it. But yeah, it's nostalgic nevertheless, it's a pirate, I think, I could be wrong, I don't know. And then the happy face, which I, I never really liked. The remaster looks a little nicer, I guess. It just, it's not something I would use, but um, I, I do like it though, It's it brings some nostalgia back. And then this thing, whatever this thing is, I, I never really knew who this was. At first I thought it was from Ozzy and Drix, maybe, but no it's not. I, I don't know who created this, and I don't know why it was on the Xbox 360 gamer picks list, but uh, yeah, some people had it. I don't know who took the time out of their day to go like, yes, yes, this is my gamer pick now. This is who I am now. N no, no, this gamer pick I always thought it was stupid, but uh, it is nostalgic nevertheless. So And the monkey, which really pissed me off, because every sweaty nerd tryhard on Modern Warfare 2 from 2009 had this gamer pick. Every time someone was rushing with the UMP-45 with Marathon Lightweight and Commando on, use this gamer pick. They were sweaty. I mean, this gamer pick means you are the sweatiest, nerdiest player on Xbox. Or on Modern Warfare 2, I, I don't know. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 in 2022 is coming out, which is gonna be stupid. I, I promise you, I'm not gonna like it at all. But uh, if this gamer pick was still around, then I promise you, these every Modern Warfare 2 player would be using this gamer pick. 
Because everyone on Call of Duty nowadays sweats so hard. I'm sorry, I've seen those lobbies, people keep sliding all over the floor and put like a million attachments on their weapons. People sweat so hard in Warzone and stuff. This gamer pick is excellent for them, so it is a beautiful rendition. And the anime Cat Girl. It's like every girl on Xbox, or at least 99% of the girls on Xbox use this gamer pick, because I think it was like the only female type of gamer pick I don't know I, I don't want to judge yeah this new one looks uh I this new one looks kind of nice to be honest I'm not a big fan of anime but uh it looks like the eyes look really nice like the eyes look really detailed the hair looks really detailed the the classic one is nostalgic but the one on the right looks really nice so it's a beautiful rendition. I'm sure every Halo player would remember this. I remember staying up playing Halo 3. Oh my god, this is so nostalgic. I just want to cry. This is beautiful. This one, I mean, <laughs> the one was always so glossed up, softened or whatever, and then the renditioned one is just more clear and has more color to it. I like it. And the dog, which, in case you guys do want to cry, that dog is most likely dead today. It's really sad. This is like the most iconic doggo ever. Every Xbox gamer has seen this dog. I, I don't even know who took this picture. Someone from Microsoft added this. I don't know. I don't know the story of this dog. They're most likely dead. It's sad. I'm sorry for saying this. This is so iconic. And that was all of them. It was just very nostalgic and very painful to watch. I don't know. I do want to thank Xbox for remastering three of these. Although, they should probably remaster all of them. There's a lot of them out there. So, yeah. Anyway, that was a quick video. Hopefully, I just wanted to fill you guys in on what happened. And that is all. So, I thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope you enjoyed your stay. I will see you guys in the next video. And I am out. Goodbye.